So, hey guys, welcome back to Spine Gaming and one of my story shorts. Um, Chloe Banks is on her way up to Pop's Diner to meet Lucretia Ramos, her partner. You remember her from the Ultimate Sacrifice episode where she was shot and nearly killed? Well, Banks blames herself. And she's been avoiding Ramos since she came out of her coma. Um, I'll start this in now because it makes more sense. Ramos went to visit Dr. Bellow, the lead forensic scientist at CIU earlier. And it gave Remus some clarity. I did say I didn't want to be disturbed. Hey, Monica. No, ah. it's, it's me. Detective Ramos, I see you're not dead. Uh, no. I'm still alive. Haven't been shot lately, so, you know. That's good. Uh, hard to go back to work, too. How you been? Well, you're in the building, so I assume you're clear to go back to work. I'm working. <laughs> working on just uh... double homicide uh, with a poison gas. Ellen seems to think it's some sort of conspiracy, but I just think it's a gas leak. But you never know. A broken uh, clock is right I twice mean, a day. I got good instincts, so being a little harsh, Monica. Yes, for puppy segments. So what did you want to talk about? Uh, I assume you didn't come here because of the scenery. I mean, I can't just come visit my friend Monica at work. Are people you? have motives, yeah. otherwise they wouldn't come to see people. I mean, like, I try to come see you and ask you out to lunch and stuff all the time, and you always say no, so... Sometimes the motive's friendship, but in this case, I do actually want... Well, I make packed lunches. Why would I want to go out for something I already have in the refrigerator in my office? As it's fun! Socializing! With your friends? No, socializing one, is right? a... Not really, but I don't want them because it interrupts my work. So what did you want to see me about? Well... Yeah, I've been cleared to go back to work, and been at work, and I just got a big case, and, you know, I, I don't, I don't know what to do about things. Well, she is your boss, so I assume do what she says. She hasn't said anything. I haven't heard from her or spoken to her got shot. I mean... Look, Detective I Ramos, I I, as much as I struggle to understand people, some things are painfully obvious. Detective Banks visited you repeatedly, in fact, every day whilst you were comatose. When you woke up, she stopped coming to visit you. What would that signify, Detective? That I need to talk to her. Quite She's possibly, but why would someone come and see somebody every single day and then avoid them when they wake up? Well, <laughs> she why would feels she feel guilty, guilty about me? But why would she feel guilty about me? I, my own stupid choice to do what I did, and like, that got me shot. The lead detective blames herself nice for what happened to you. Her mistake got you shot. But it's not shot. her fault. She didn't in shoot her me. eyes, in her eyes, it is. Well, she's wrong. People are often wrong, but at the same time, they still stick to their beliefs quite stubbornly. In this case, she believes she's responsible for what happened to you, whether that is the case or not. As you state, it was the individual criminals in that case that shot you, so therefore it's their fault by proxy of pulling the trigger. However. She blames her error in tactical judgment for what happened, and as such, is placing blame on herself and guilt. Well, Hence why she went to visit wrong. you every day before you woke up. Then I suggest you make the first I mean, step, otherwise she likely won't. 
Yeah, I mean, it seems that way, so... <laughs> yeah, you're right. And as always... I know, otherwise I wouldn't say it. Is that all? <laughs> yeah. Thanks, Monica. I yes. would ask you to come to lunch with me, but I know you'll say no. Uh, take that pizza on the table. One of the technicians left it here and I refuse to touch something that other people have put their hands on. I'm not your janitor, Monica. Talk to you later. I meant eat it, not put it in the bin. I don't know where you've put it. On a table. It smells down here. No, it smells down here. It's I up here. I don't think that's your fault. <laughs> We're on the third floor. This place is a dungeon. It has the down in the middle of nowhere vibe. Just how like I like hell. it. You Again, just how I like it. it. The new guys. They literally call this a circle of hell, right? Like the third one. Then it's working. Like I said, I go see it's Detective. More like the sixth. Go see Detective Banks. You will have to make the first move. Okay. Thanks, Monica. Glad you're not dead. Glad you haven't changed. Why would I? I'll be Ramos. Bella said you wanted to talk. Hey. Yeah. I'm glad you came out here. Um, wanna take a seat at the bar? And order something? Uh, no, I right know. I don't particularly hungry. How are you feeling? Well, I'm fine. Great. I'm back to work. Yeah, I saw. How um, are you? How's how's uh? Yeah, 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 yeah. Good, 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 good. Um, doing great. Um, you know how it is. <laughs> Nine. Um. Yeah. Uh, look, I, I've got a confession to make, Lucretia. Um, sorry, I'm sorry. It's not okay, your fault. no, no, let me, no. let me get this out. Okay, please, just let me get this out because but you're I need wrong. to. You're, you're... No, I'm. I need to explain myself. Okay. You didn't do anything wrong. Every I'm day after you went in there, I mean, the first night I stayed all night. Every day after that, I. <sighs> I was there. I came to see you every day after work. And I when the doctors told me you'd woken up, I I wanted to go and then I, I just couldn't bring myself to actually go. I feel like I let you down and I feel like it's my fault. No. And I, I know, I know, please, just let me get this out. I blame myself for what happened. It was my mistake. You were in a risky situation as it was, and my error. That was my cost choice, me though. my partner. You didn't lose me, though. I... I... I thought I let you down. I... I'm just... I'm, I'm, I'm nobody compared to, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm a rookie, and... You're I not made a, a rookie. horrible choice. I, I was an idiot, and I got shot, and it wasn't your fault. You're one of the bravest detectives I know. No rookie would do what you did. Yeah, but... Yeah, but I let you down. I'm sorry. No, you're my partner. So I let you down by doing what I did. I made a mistake, okay? My foot slipped and I, the sound... it <laughs> Maybe we'd have gotten oh, out of that it, otherwise. It, I keep thinking of all the ways that could have ended. The last thing I remember was just... I was panicked. I thought they were going to shoot you. It's. <laughs> you've got to realize. Fault, okay, I. You've you've got to realize how it felt for me when 
the medic on scene pronounced you. I I've never lost control before. Never. Not on a scene. Not in a case. I had to let the sheriff, s uh, sergeant, uh, lieutenant, I don't know who he was, take over. I, I couldn't lead people. I thought I'd lost you and I thought I'd killed my partner, my friend. And I've blamed myself ever since. I I just... I'm sorry. I... Holy <sighs> This is my fault, okay? And I feel totally no. responsible. You have so your brothers and your family. It you don't realize the pressure that I'm under sometimes leading this department. I there are so many people whose lives are I'm responsible for. You know how many people we've lost this year alone. This is dangerous. I understand. I But I'm back, aren't I? And I'm okay. I know, but right? I'm standing right in front of you, okay? I mean, I'm fine. In so many of those cases, I'm okay. <laughs> in so many of those cases, okay? I, I wasn't directly responsible, but in this one, I was there and I did something that caused it, and I. <sighs> no, you didn't. You didn't hurt me, Chloe. You, you would never hurt me. You couldn't. I don't even know how you could. You're. That's just not possible, and you can't blame yourself for this. It's 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 out of your control. Some awful fucking people in this world, and they're gonna do what they do. We have to be there to stop them, and it's not your fault. Sometimes people get hurt. No, I understand. I just <sighs> I would never for a second blame you. Hey, it's not you Sorry. I was worried about. It was me. And it sounds selfish, I know, but I... I don't know. I just... I've been so kind of stuck in myself this last couple of months. Hidden behind the work, and I... I thought you were... Gosh, <laughs> no. You... You're one of my best friends, and you're my partner, you... Lucretia. How could I hate you? I didn't hear from you, and... And now I kept hearing about how you had there before I woke up, but I hadn't nothing, you know? I I I know. I didn't even know if I was supposed to come back to work. I Well yeah, obviously. We can't have more than have two desks. <laughs> yeah, but <laughs> I thought you were No. God, no. Not even in the slightest. I just... Oh, I'm sorry, I'm acting like a... Little stupid girl, I'm so sorry. I just... Ugh. Oh, I didn't think how this would affect you. My own stupid, selfish self-loathing. This wasn't... I've, I've projected all of this on myself and I... I should be thinking about you, not me. No, 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 no. It's... I understand, I do, I... Look, it's... I don't I'm blame sorry. you, I understand. I... I just want my friend back, okay? You know? I was never not your friend. You know that. I didn't, though. I... I thought I lost you. Never. And everybody. Lou, you're my partner, okay? You watch my back, I watch yours, and I screwed up. And you nearly died, okay? Yeah. That's on me. You can't control everything, Chloe. It's not possible. It... But I should. And that's then... the point. There are things I no. should control, and that was one of them. You're not perfect. You're the only one who expects to be perfect. Nobody else. Nobody can live up to that. Who the that's hell the can live up to that? That's what the guys upstairs want. That's what the yeah, chief no wants. I don't give a shit about them. I don't give a shit about them. I only care about you. And the pressure you're putting on yourself. You're gonna fucking kill yourself, Chloe. That's not possible. You'll die worrying. Ah, many tried. That's not gonna happen, okay? Listen, I... If I am your partner, then you gotta share some of that, okay? 
that responsibility. And I with know. everyone else too. It's I got your back. I I'd do anything for you, I guess, you know, if you you needed it. I gotta talk to me. I just need yeah. my friend. Look, I, I will. I'm so sorry. I've just been so selfish about this whole thing. I Oh god, I'm an idiot. Fool. Stupid. No. Stupid. Ugh. No, I I'm get sorry. It. I get it. I understand. I understand now. It's It's okay. I'm not mad. I just I just want you back, you know. No, I I get that. I do. I'm I'm just Ugh. <sighs> I guess it's just we're going in circles. What the hell am I doing? Yeah, no, I'm sorry. I should have come and seen you. I, I chickened out. But we're talking I now, okay? I get it. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's okay. It's I'm not mad at you. I, diner I never up here could in Blank be. County. It's... Yeah, well, let's look around. It's the best we got. It's yeah, it is. This is Sandy Shores. I'm glad you came up here. I figured you wouldn't, and I. No, I I gotta see the sheriff about something with her dog that happened. But no, when Bella told me you were up here, I had to come and stop by. I'm sorry. Oh, and she said you wanted to find me, and I knew I'd been avoiding you. <sighs> You're telling me that, Monica actually talk to you about interpersonal relationships. She does talk to me and she does talk to me about her life as strange as that might sound she is a very deep person the whole... I know she is yeah. she's my friend weird but she's a yeah, person Captain... yeah well we're pretty fucking weird really? yeah hey next time why don't you let me <laughs> catch a couple of those bullets huh hog them all for yourself I'd rather... I'd rather neither of us. Yeah, that's what we got the guys for, huh? Meat shields. Yeah, let them run in first. Uh, oh, they're I finally launching SRT get... soon, so we won't have to... Talk them long enough. I don't want you to get hurt. We won't, okay? We'll be fine. I'm sorry, Lucretia. I really am. Being mad. I, I'm, I'm, I'm not mad. I'm not. I just... Really? Stuck in a house with Miranda for months. Oh, God. Okay. No, I... I yeah. Oh, God. Should have come and visited. Oh, okay. Yeah. My bad. <laughs> uh, how is the old backlax? I don't know. She's... Well, I talked to her earlier today. Did you try and kill anybody today? She hasn't, but she might. I told her what happened to Bree. Yeah, I'm working that thing with Miranda. No, Miranda. Melissa. Sorry, I'm trying to not call her Ellen, but <laughs> it's hard not to. Morales is kind of she a spitting looks... image. Ellen, it's... Look, we'll find Bree together, okay? Listen. You and me, back, the old okay. days. I, um... <laughs> it's just been a few months, right? I know, but that's just, so far as like the old days, back, okay? Hey, a lot of stuff has changed. People are actually doing their jobs now. Surprisingly enough. Docker. Yeah, Guess that means right? I gotta pick up the pace. Yeah, well, while you were gone, I closed down the Aztecas and the new ones popped up, so we're starting playing whack a mole with those boys. Come on. Let's yeah, get out of here. Same old, same old. Yeah. I need something stiffer than they sell here. Uh, I kind of agree. So Banks and Ramos have made up, and perhaps the guilt has been assuaged a little bit. But where will the two partners end up in the near future? Who knows? Well, hopefully you enjoyed this one, guys. A little bit more story context for these characters and their development. Thanks for watching. Bye.